up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel coming to you from this empty office again I will furnish it at some point and I think I might bring you guys along for the process of that since I still have yet to do that and maybe it'll actually make me get to that so maybe I'll bring you guys along for the process on that but today's video is I don't know why I always think that it's a surprise considering you saw the title of the video and you clicked on it so you already know that it's a Gymshark sale. So there is a Gymshark sale coming up. It's up to 60% off and it starts May 26th. I picked out my top 10 items from the sale. Obviously I'm not telling you you have to get 10 items from the sale, but I wanted variety. Not everyone, you know, has the same gym outfit preferences. So I wanted some variety in here, some neutrals with some colors, with some leggings, with some shorts. So I picked my top 10 items. So before we get into the try on going over all the different items that I've picked, I want to go over some key sale details with you because this can kind of like make or break whether you get the items that you want during the sale. So here are a few key details from the sale. So like I said, May 26th up to 60% off. And just a little reminder that the items that are in your cart are not saved. So in case you put things in your cart and you go browse back through the site, if that item sells out, it could be taken from your cart. So things aren't saved until you fully have checked out. Um, there's still a 30 day return window, but there will be a few items that are final sale. And then for anyone who is a student or maybe you have a gift card, student discounts and gift cards are still accepted during the sale. Okay, sizing details. Everything you see here, so sports bras, long sleeve crops, leggings, shorts, everything is an extra small, which is my normal Gymshark sizing. I always do my best to give a recommendation on whether I think you could size up or size down, or if I just think it's very true to size. I've popped my measurements in the description below in case you just need to use that as reference. And then I've also popped my Gymshark link in the description if you ever choose to shop through my Gymshark link. Thank you so, so, so much. And if you have any questions about the sale, let me know. All right, moving into the actual fun portion of the video, the try on haul portion. So like I said, I have 10 picks. So that includes top and bottom. So I really do have like 20 items here but I've included it into a whole outfit. Like I said, I have neutrals, I have colors, I have shorts, I have leggings, I have sports bras, I have long sleeves. So kind of take your pick. Like I'm trying to cover all the different areas of my top picks from the sale. I'm not showing you anything that I literally don't wear and have on my actual rotation. Like I'm not picking anything on here that I don't wear myself frequently. As far as discounts go, they didn't share any discounts ahead of time with us, so I have no idea what the actual discounts of these items will be. All I know is that I know they'll be discounted and I know that they're my staples, so I wanted to share them with you. But when the sale actually goes live, I'll go through the website and I'll pick my top picks from the specific discounts and I'll share them on my story. Okay, we're going to start with what I usually start these sale videos with, which is everyone's staple, everyone's tried and true, top pick, camo seamless. I have four different colors here for the camo seamless. So four out of the 10 picks are camo and there is a reason. It is, it's one of those leggings that you can wear when you want something really, really stretchy. And I know that you know the days I'm talking about where you just like can't fathom putting on leggings for a workout. You're bloated, it's that time of month and you just, you wanna put on something comfortable. I know you know what I'm talking about. You don't want something digging into your stomach. You don't want something uncomfortably too tight. Camo seamless are those leggings. On top of that, they are flattering on your booty. So it's just kind of a win-win all around. So the colors I've chosen are the green, love this one, and then the navy. This was a really, really top pick when it came out and it sells out a lot. So navy is gonna be a part of the sale and that's exciting. Cherry brown. This one goes with so many other pieces from Gymshark, like the cropped jacket I'm wearing right now. And then I also picked the Griffin green. So this is kind of like a yellowy green. So I'm gonna try all these on. All right, tell me that this green isn't one of your favorites. In my opinion, you can't ever go wrong with a blue or a green gym fit. So for this sports bra style, it's that OG like camo seamless style sports bra. It's that v-neck with the crisscross. I prefer to wear the crisscross underneath like some people kind of pull it up and like cut over the top. 
I usually pull it down and crisscross underneath. Um, this sports bra also has cutout detailing in the back. There is removable padding. There is no adjustable straps. This is a sports bra that cuts off right in the middle of your lat. So I think that the next time Camo Seamless comes out with some new colorways, I think I'm gonna order a small in this sports bra. I think that it'll just fit a little bit less snug and maybe not cut off my lats so much. For sizing, if you're in between, I would size up in it, or if you just don't like a super snug fit. Some people like that. If you like that, stay true to size. If you don't prefer a snug fit, size up. This sports bra is a little bit different than the crisscross v-neck one that Camo has always had. If you're asking my opinion on it, I actually prefer to wear this one. The other one is very cute, but this one is the one that like I personally prefer to work out in. So the details of the sports bra, there is removable padding. It's a little bit of a longer lined sports bra. It's not super thin straps, but there is no adjustable straps. So for this style of Camo seamless sports bra, only if you're in between sizes, in the sports bra, I think you could size down. This color is gonna be in the sale and it's a color that I'm not, I'm out of breath from <laughs> trying this on. Um, it's a color that I'm not 100% set on. Like I'm not sure if I feel like it fits my skin tone super well. It looked cute on every single person that's worn it. Like I have thought every single person has pulled it off but for some reason for me, I'm like, I'm not sure. And maybe it's just because it's like a little bit out of my normal colorways. Let's talk shorts. I usually roll my waistband down. I just have a pretty short torso and they are pretty long if I don't roll them down. So I typically roll the waistband. They do have um, some ruching on the side, but there is no butt scrunch like the leggings. Camo shorts are a big staple for me, just kind of like the leggings. Like they're an overall comfortable pair of shorts. They're short, so that part might not be for everybody. With shorts especially, I just think people are really looking for comfort. Like you don't want anything digging into your thighs or like your waist. You just want comfortable with your shorts. And these are comfortable. If you are in between sizes, I would size up. Or if you just prefer to wear a size bigger in shorts, I know some people do. So you could size up in the shorts, but comfortable. I love pairing these with like an oversized hoodie or an oversized tee for leg day. These are a staple. All right, let's talk details of the camo leggings. There is a butt scrunch. Some people love it, some people don't. I personally find it very flattering. There is ultimate stretch in camo leggings. I always call camo seamless a perfect leg day legging because number one, there is a butt scrunch which is already flattering on your booty and then it's light day on top of that. And then number two, they are squat proof, which is obviously ideal when you are squatting on leg day. Only if you're in between sizes in the leggings, I think you could size up. Otherwise, stay true to size. The cherry brown camo seamless, this color is to die for. The cropped hoodie I was wearing in the beginning, let me show you. Matches perfectly. This colorway is so cute. This one, is definitely high on my list. All right, I've moved into a new collection. This is the latest Animal Seamless that has recently released. I have two different colors in this collection. So I picked the blue and I picked the black. Black because we all need like a staple black piece in our gym fits. And then blue because it was my second favorite that came out of the recent Animal Seamless. This blue is so gorgeous. It's bright, so don't get me wrong. It's not like a subtle blue, it is a brighter blue. And that's not for everybody, I 100% know that. But I really like just this cycling look, like this crop top. So this is a crop top, not a sports bra, but I'll go over that more. And I am wearing cycling shorts. But starting with the top, so this is not a sports bra. I don't know if this confused people when it launched. I think that people did think it was a sports bra, but it is a crop top. So I'll show you how long it actually is on me. Mind you, I am five feet. I have a short torso, so it might not be as long on you, but I do have it tucked under. I just think it looks a little bit more flattering on me with it cropped a little bit more. There is no padding in this either. So I do have some bra pads just like slipped in there and it is how I prefer to wear it just because it is very thin. Like it, it's not a sports bra, like it is just a thin crop top. So I do have bra pads slipped in there. You can zip this up all the way if you wanted to. I don't think that I wanna work out with it zipped all the way up. It kinda is tight, but you could obviously adjust 
to like what you feel comfortable with there. I just think it's like sporty spice. Like you don't even have to match it with these blue shorts or blue leggings. Like you could wear this with like a black pair of leggings and wear it out to brunch. Like it's very, very cute. So to show you the actual length of it, this is the crop top pulled all the way down. My belly button is right there, so you can see it's like a longer crop top. I do prefer it tucked under just because I think it looks a little bit more flattering on me, but you could 100% wear it like this as well. Super cute. There is like a band around the bottom, kind of like a sports bra, so this part is a little bit more snug down here, and it has a little bit more compression than the actual um, crop top itself. So there is, you know, a band at the bottom of it. And then let me show you the matching cycling shorts with it. So here are the cycling shorts. I have them scrunched up as you can probably see here. Again, I am five feet tall, so you might not have to scrunch yours up as much as me because I do have pretty short legs, but I do just prefer to wear them scrunched. I think it just looks a little bit more flattering on me not being super duper long. Like the camo seamless, I do prefer to roll the waistband down just because I do have a fairly short torso and these are pretty high-waisted. The great thing about cycling shorts is that they're versatile. You can wear these longer if you want. Let me pull them down. So here's the difference in length. Pulled all the way down versus scrunched up. Totally depends on what your preference is. I love the versatility of cycle shorts. Wear them long with an oversized tee, scrunch them up for a workout, however you wanna wear them, so many different ways, and I think they are a great summer staple. All right, for my girlies who like an all black gym fit, raise your hand because that is me to a tee 100%. This is my all black gym fit pick of the sale. This is the same collection as the blue set I was just wearing, so this is Animal Seamless. The leggings are very similar to Camo Seamless. So very stretchy, very comfortable, no waistband at the top that's like digging into you. There is a butt scrunch, so very flattering. All in all, they're very, very, very similar leggings. So if you like camo, you'll like the fit of Animal Seamless. The major difference is the fact that they have two different patterns. I do love, this is like an all black gym fit, but there is some pattern to it. So it kind of just takes it one step further from being just like a really plain gym outfit to just like, a little bit more because of the pattern. If I had to pick a favorite out of the two tops, I'd probably go with the other one just because it's pretty unique. Gymshark doesn't have a ton of like collars with like a little zipper, but with this sports bra, there is actual padding to it. It is actually a sports bra. It's supportive, it's pretty snug, um, it has a high neck, so great if you're jumping around during a workout. And then I will say that I love this cut. Like I just think this cut is really flattering on the shoulders. And we love shoulder day over here. We love a bolder shoulder workout. So we love a top that is gonna just kind of make your shoulders pop. So sizing for this whole collection, this top, if you are in between, you could size up in this sports bra. The leggings, like I said, very, very similar fit to camo seamless. Basically the entire same fit. So whatever kind of sizing you do in camo, you could do the same with animal. Very true to size. If you are in between, and probably only if you're in between, you could size up. The crop top in blue with the zipper, that is very true to size. Whatever size you normally get in your crop tops, stay with that same sizing. And then the blue animal seamless shorts that I showed you, if you're in between sizes, you could size up in those. All right, moving into another staple, Vital Seamless. It doesn't get much better than Vital Seamless because of all the different colorways, the mix and match options, the leggings, the shorts, the comfort of the sports bra, all of the above. This brown is to die for. So the Vital Seamless sports bras are sports bras I wear quite often. If you go to my Instagram page, I do wear the Vital Seamless sports bras and the shorts a ton just because, like I said, they mix and match really well, but the comfort of the Vital Seamless sports bra is a favorite. I think I've said this in probably every Vital Seamless try on haul, or every sale haul because I typically have Vital Seamless in every single one of my sale hauls. This is a sports bra that you can wear like an all day type of thing. Like when you want to wear a sports bra like under a big t-shirt or under a hoodie, this is the sports bra that you're probably gonna pick because it's not gonna dig into you. And that's the key with a sports bra. Nothing digging into your traps and nothing digging in like to your lats. It's also not a long lined sports bra. And I like a short sports bra. It's what I prefer 
Like I said, I don't have a long torso, so I don't really like things to come down too low. It's a short sports bra. It's comfortable. There's removable padding. It is just like a simple racer back style. I mean, you get it. She's a staple for me. Moving into the leggings though that I'm wearing, I paired it with the matching brown Vital Seamless, but like I said, you can mix and match Vital Seamless so easily. These are the Vital Seamless 2.0. So I do have an entire try on haul based on the 2.0 because there was some changes from like the OG Vital to the Vital Seamless 2.0. There is a snug waistband. It's snug. If you don't like a snug waistband, then they're either not for you or I would just go ahead and size up a size. I love there to not be any gapping in the back. I like that you don't have to keep pulling them up. So I really like the feeling of a snug waistband, but I know that's not for everybody. As far as sizing goes, sports bra, stay true to size. Leggings, like I said, if you don't like a snug waistband, then you may want to size up. For the long sleeve crops, which I'll show you in the next color, you could size up if you are in between. So there is no butt scrunch in the back of these leggings or anything. So for people who are not a fan of the butt scrunch, there is not one on these. In my opinion, this is one of Gymshark's like most simple collections. Yes, there are a ton of colors, like I've said, so you can mix and match, but there's no like huge pattern on them. So they are a solid color. So a lot of people prefer to just wear something simple in the gym. This is for you if you're not looking for pattern. All right, threw on a different Vital Seamless colorway, and this color is bright. Don't let it fool you on the website. It looks pretty pale, but think like Barbie pink. It is a pretty bright pink and it's definitely out of my comfort zone but you guys have stayed hyping me up on my Instagram you guys love this color I like this color I just don't typically wear a lot of pink so it is out of my comfort zone but I wanted to show you the long sleeve crops because these are a staple I love to wear the long sleeve crops with shorts just kind of like sports bras with leggings and then long sleeve crops with the shorts some key things about the long sleeve crop there are thumb holes. It is very stretchy. Like it is a super stretchy top. It's breathable. It's thin, not in a bad way. I like that in a long sleeve crop. I don't want to feel like so restricted during my workout that I can't breathe. It's pretty breathable. I like that it's pretty cropped. Sometimes long sleeve crops can come pretty low and I like that this one is cropped pretty high just like the sports bra. Another thing I love is that it's not like restrictive on the neck. It doesn't come up too high. It's not a thick material or anything. So it doesn't feel like it's just like coming up on your neck during your workout. Like I said, very breathable, comfortable. If you're going for a long sleeve crop, Vital Seamless is the one. All right, talking squat proof in the brown Vital Seamless, I would say 100% squat proof on me. Pink Vital Seamless, I would say not squat proof on me. I personally don't wear underwear under my leggings, but if you are going to wear underwear under these pink ones, I would say make sure you're wearing something that matches your skin tone. If you're wearing something like a bright green or a bright red, you're definitely gonna see it under here. So I would definitely wear something that matches your skin tone with the pink leggings. I do love the look of these pink leggings, but it's probably gonna be more of an upper body color or an ab day or a cardio day, it's probably not gonna be your number one leg day pick. Moving into my first little mix and match outfit, and there is a matching sports bra to these fleck leggings, but it didn't make my top 10 pick. It's still cute, but it didn't make my top 10. And the ruched training, the v-neck training, you know all of those sports bras are my favorite, so I had to find a way to throw one of them in here. And this ruched training sports bra matches perfectly with these green fleck leggings. So I had to show you this cute outfit. This color is teal-ish. It definitely leans more on the green side. The ruched training sports bra is a favorite for different reasons. It's simple. Love, love, love the simplicity of them. Love the thin straps. There's adjustable straps. There's removable padding. And because they are just like a solid color, you can easily mix and match them with so many different pieces. So basically the only key detailing to them is that they have some ruching down the front and then they have 
crisscross straps in the back. These fleck leggings have a very similar fit to the Marl seamless leggings if you ever had those. These are for my girls who aren't looking for like a big bold pattern. They're looking for more of a solid color. These just have a little bit of speckling detailing to them. Otherwise, they are just a very simple flattering pair of leggings. Okay, last but not least, the last outfit is a little athleisure piece. This is definitely meant for more athleisure versus workouts. If you do wear it for a workout, I would definitely recommend something low intensity. It's definitely not meant for anything like high intensity like cardio or like a leg day or anything like that. It is a very thin material. If you have super long nails, I would be careful of the material to just not stick your finger through it. Very thin, so comfortable. It's a waffle texture to it. I have green and I have this color and I live in these. So for the top, it is a crop top, spaghetti strap, no adjustable straps with it, no padding with it. I find myself mix and matching this top with like jean shorts, jeans, black leggings. Like you can basically wear this crop top with anything. These are probably one of the most comfortable pairs of leggings you will ever put on. They're definitely more of, I definitely wanna call them more like maybe tights instead of leggings because they're just an overall very thin material. No compression to them. I love the waffle texture to them. They're just overall cute, cozy. Throw an oversized flannel on or an oversized button down, oversized jean jacket ultimate rest day vibes. As far as sizing goes, top and bottom, stay true to size, very stretchy. I can't say enough about this set. If you're looking for athleisure, this is this is it. All right, I threw back on my cropped hoodie. I am going to wear this outfit now that I'm done. Like I'm telling you, this is like the ultimate comfy, cozy vibe. But anyways, I hope that this whole video was helpful. My top 10 picks from the sale let me know any sales questions. Throw all your sales questions at me so I can answer them before the sale goes live. Just a little reminder, May 26th, up to 60% off. If you do ever choose to shop through my Gymshark link, thank you so, so, so much. And thank you so much for watching.